Well, hi everyone and welcome again to Storytime with Liam and Dave. We've got another great story for you today. And so uh, I'm going to share that with you. This is a story from a friend of mine, Hugh. And so these are his words as I read to you. This story comes from an investment my wife Jane and I together with two other families from Stairway are involved in. After being given a dream from God to do a forestry and farming project in Cambodia, we were pursuing the, land, the purchase of land. We had had several false starts and it seemed like we were not going to get anywhere. Along came an opportunity to buy a piece of land that was right where God said we would buy. So we made an offer on the land. Our offer was accepted. But before we could pay, a Chinese company backed by the Chinese government offered substantially more money. Instantly our agreement fell through. But this investor had to go and arrange to have the money to buy the land. After four days, the Cambodians got nervous and came back to us. Because we had the money in the bank, we could pay the whole amount right then at a much reduced price. The Chinese money arrives a day later, but the land was already ours. Now our land is blessed. We're producing such good stock that we're becoming the respected advisors in the area, with many high-ranking officials seeking our advice. Our staff even love working for us, because not only we are able to pay well, but we treat them with dignity and respect. This is paving the way for relationships where we, as kingdom business people, are able to be of a different spirit and bring God's counsel in that nation. That's a really fantastic story that Hugh's been able to share with us, but what are some principles that you would draw out of that, Dave? Yeah, well, I can see three parties in this particular arrangement, some meek and, and some not meek. You see, uh, some parties there, and Hugh and Jane were one of them, they, they were prepared for that opportunity when it came. Um, the Chinese people uh, weren't as prepared and so they weren't able to make as good a, a deal there. Um, and of course the, um, the Cambodian uh, person was probably overextended and, and so they needed to make that deal work and they got very nervous at, at the wrong time. And so this is a, a sort of a story about where uh, meekness sits um, and how we can actually capitalize on the opportunities that we're given. And so a lot of people don't fully understand the concept of meekness. It sounds like weakness, it sounds like feebleness. However, Jesus called us to be meek. He said that if we would be meek and follow him, uh, that we would have rest for our souls. And so uh, that sounds pretty cool, but meekness also uh, doesn't mean weak. It actually means, um, the Greek word is praus, and praus uh, means um, power under control. It's, this, it's the same word that is used to describe the Greek war horse that used to thunder into battle and need uh, to be guided, of course, controlled through that process. And so um, most of us, we don't live meek lifestyles. We actually live opposite from meek. We spend more than what we have and therefore we are weak. So we're the opposite of meek mm -hmm. in many ways. <laughs> uh, so to the, the, that power under control, that strength to react when the right opportunities come about. And it's amazing what happens when we are ready, when we're prepared, what happens to us. Well, that's fantastic, Dave. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that as much as I did. If you want to hear more about the principle of meekness, you can check out the website. Uh, the Imagine page has more teaching on this. And I look forward to sharing another story with you next week. Cheerio. Ciao. Bye-bye. <laughs>